want to say two quick things because we're running out of time a little bit for chapter 13. And then I'll dismiss you, Fulios, who want to go. Okay. One thing I want to say about colloids, I want to refer you to something here. Colloids is uh, relatively simple. There's no math. Uh, if you want to learn about colloids, just read section 10 in your text or reader. That's it. That's all you need to know. This stuff right there. They're, uh, they're stabilized by electrostatic propulsion, so they're layers of opposing charges. A plus layer, a minus layer, a plus layer, a minus layer, etc. And then they can come out of suspension to make like a sandbar. So the delta in Sacramento is because col colloids come out in a rapid and they make a little layer sandbar. Okay, so that's all the colloids. Check. Uh, this, oh gosh, what can I say about this? Uh, quickly, I want to, yeah, I want to refer you to page 46 here in the reader. Unfortunately, this is not elaborated in the textbook. Okay, there's two ways that we can ask you a colligative property question, which there's three types of colligative property questions. One is a freezing point uh, depression. Another is a boiling point elevation. And a third is osmotic pressure. So you're looking for keywords. Boiling point, freezing or melting point, uh, or something about pressure, a membrane, something like a semi-permeable membrane, something like that. Those are some key things you're looking for. OK, one is. If all the variables are given, and this is done for the boiling point elevation and freezing point depression, if all the variables are given for the formula, just plug and chug. Done. Okay, that's the easier of the two. The second one, which usually throws people off, if you're asked for mass, moles, molar mass, or sometimes even the identity of the molecule, and you're not given the identity, in that case, you're still going to use the formula, but you're going to solve for lowercase m. What's lowercase m? molality, solve for that, and then from molality, you're going to do unit conversions, or you're just going to convert units till you get to the units that you want. In the case that you're asked for the identity of the molecule, what, very, or what am I going to go to to find the identity of a molecule? Yeah, go to molar mass. So convert molality to molar mass, and once you get to molar mass, uh, then you'll be able to figure out the identity, because you'll know how much it weighs. Okay, well that was fast for chapter 13. This is a pretty typical question. It's number 12 on page 49. Okay, and I see the following. I've got a molar mass. So mol uh, molar mass uh, 50 grams per mole. And I have uh, something that's boiling at 101.56 degrees C. So I see boiling, and I start to think, oh, cool, I get a properties question. So I start to think this formula. Okay. And then uh, I'm adding, I add something, some mysterious substance of this molar mass to a water, and the water is 500 grams. Okay, knowing that, uh, I know a couple pieces of information already. So for example, uh, delta T is going to be what? It's going to be 1.56 degrees C. The reason I know that is compared to water, which is 100. So delta T is for the solvent, the solvent, which is water. Okay, I actually know K as well. K is for what substance? The solvent, the sol solute, or the solution? The solvent, which is water. And that's, uh, since it's not a problem, it would have had to be given on the exam that year. Uh, let me see if I can look it up here quickly. If I can't, then uh, let's see. Do you happen to have that value? No. So you don't have to find it? Okay, so it has to be given on the exam. I just don't see it right now, so. It's but. Uh, 0 0.5212, or 0.512. All oh, right, that sounds good. And it's probably uh, 
degree C from mole out. Okay, thank you. So that should be on the back of that exam. It might not be on every exam that you look at because some years you wouldn't need it. So I'm, sometimes I just toss the numbers you need on the back. Okay. So uh, I, let's take a look at I. It says it's a molecular substance in the question. So what must I be? One, yeah. If it's molecular or organic, you know it's going to be one. The only type of substance that's not going to have a value of one for I is what kind of substance? An ionic compound. So that's the only one that, you, that would not be a value of one here. Okay, so this is the second category where I'm going to solve for molality. Okay? And then molality, I need to know its units. It's moles per kilogram. So once I solve that, hopefully that'll be really easy mathematically from the equation. Just plug and shove. And then from there, you're going to say, well, moles per kilogram. I need to go to molar mass. So I need a little bit of work here. A molar mass by, uh, is that what I want to go to? Oh, I want to go to mass, sorry. So I want to know what mass of this unknown substance do I add to water? Yeah. So uh, I'm going to do a couple steps here. This is kilograms of what in the denominator? Solvent or solute? Water, which is what? A solvent or solute? Solvent. Well, solvent. It's the one there's more of. So I'm going to multiply by 500 grams of water or it's kind of convert the units here so they all cancel. So now I'm left with moles of the unknown substance, which is the solute. Moles of the unknown substance, which is the solute, and I know it's 50 grams per mole. 